Hey, Don here. Doing a little test of Cam Studio Recorder. Last time I used it, uh, it seemed to work. I looked at an old video, so I'm just uh, letting it run. Just like I didn't even look in the settings, I just made sure it was recording to AVI. It says it always. It's weird that it says SWF, but <coughs> uh, AVI will be down there before you start if it's going to do AVI. And SWF, the last time I tested it out. Let's see, what? Was it on this machine? No, I tested it out on the one I'm trying, I want to do the screencasts on, and anyway, went round and round, had trouble. <coughs> Tried uh, updating it, and uh, when you go to the website to update it, that file is infected. And this older version here is fine. I already had it on my system. I had uh, downloaded a year so a few years ago I guess uh, this one here and I found one newer version one uh, one step newer on uh, I think it's source forge but when you click on the link for on the source forge site or go to straight to their website by searching for it like I did the first time thought maybe I'd found the wrong site it uh, it's infected so that's really weird maybe they have just quit keeping it up because I think the newest one is a few years old somebody got into their server or something who knows but and it's supposed to be open source and all this stuff it sounds cool but uh, yeah camstudio.org yeah, don't download that one and this is 2014 7-4-2014 uh, yeah, last couple of days here they, it was a couple of days ago when I did that and it was in fact it have asked said it was affected and I have this um, uh, add-on for Firefox and Thunderbird and everything but I, in, I was in Firefox and uh, I hardly even use it, uh, search the web on, on uh, on in Windows just for safety reasons and to keep from getting into that kind of mess but that's the site right there go to the site alright but uh, it all sounds good when you just click on that link uh, Dr. Webb I couldn't think of the name of it I'll scan it you can scan the link before you go to it with Dr. Webb see infected if you download the files, which are what I did first without even, you know, I didn't expect it to send it, you know, uh, 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 expect it to have any problems because it was, uh, said it was open source and everything. I don't run into that hardly ever, not with Linux anyway. I, I've been running Linux since 2005. I just need to use a Windows app because uh, <coughs> it's a Windows <coughs> building a built a dual boot system with. Uh, Corora, Corora Linux, a Fedora Remix, and um, Windows 7 for some one. And I, uh, you know, just, well, I'll update the app application before I start using it again. Big mistake. Anyway, so that's a good thing to use there, that uh, Dr. Web. I think they use it on some of the big websites now. I think it's on, yeah, it's on Facebook. I got on there because that person uses Facebook a lot. And and uh, clicked on something and and it's and every time you click on anything it scans it before you go to it so that's cool hey My Don here testing out Tam Studio Recorder again I started using its uh, native codec I guess you could call it Cam Studio codec 1.4 is the best <coughs> one I've found um, well I, got, I went away, I started to stay away from the new version because uh, I had downloaded this version 2.6 a while back on a different machine. This is a new machine I'm building for somebody. And the strangest thing happened. Well, I'm well, not going to go back to that side now, but I think I can show here in uh, Firefox. Um, going to my bookmarks. Show all bookmarks. And uh, <clears throat> open them all on a tab. Now, I had saved the page there with what looks like their page. Um, does crazy things. I use Linux and it does not act like this. 
Um, I found a newer version on this page. That when you go download it, it, it uh, I have a vast on here, and it went off and shut it down. It said it was infected. Scan the link to the file and it, with Dr. Webb link checker. Like that. I'll scan the link to the page and see what happens. See, that's clean. If you go to the page, I'll show it if I can. Last time I opened up this page um, from my favorites, it, it set off a vast, so I didn't want to do it again. I deleted it from my favorites. I had it in there and put a note on there to don't download from here and all that. But Dr. Webb link checker infected. So there's a, some kind of virus on that page. And it seems like the real page, and it has the newest version 2.7. But here on uh, this, I guess, is second to the newest version. It it was fine. Um, I think I scanned it. I scanned it once. I downloaded it. I know that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just clean. Anyway, I went ahead and installed it, and what I ended up with was two versions: the 2.7 and the 2.6. And the 2.7, every time you opened it it wanted to update and it would take you back to that bad page the um, the um, this version works fine and uh, it has these I had these uh, this they say on this website I don't know if you can believe any of it now I don't know maybe he quit maintaining it and somebody got into the server but it seemed like a normal it's supposed it's supposed to be it says it's open source do you need license and everything and uh, <clears throat> Seem perfect. Color scheme has been changed by Windows 7. Current color scheme has exceeded a well, It's allowed memory, so the scooter here and changed back to the group. That must be you no. Know, the last time I saw this happen was I was using this program. This program is doing that, causing it to use up all the memory. This I'm talking about this one right here, Cam Studio. Yep, they sent it back to the default. I read something on the side about if it was using too much memory that uh well it was talking about one with this SWF encoding not ABI, but maybe it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go in there and <clears throat> after I shut this down, see if I can change it. So there's something you could click on in the memory settings in the advanced area. And if I can find that on the speed and I don't wanna do it while it's running, but Recording the flash options. Display converted that didn't work. That's when it crashed. Uh, trying to do that, trying to do the uh, conversion. I mean, it, it displayed it fine, but then it crashed when. Well, it displayed when I was trying to decide what to pick. No, I think I did leave it on the defaults and clicked OK. And also the uh, SDBF file. I already deleted it, but I had one here in my directory. It crashed. Uh, uh, VLC media player <coughs> so that's the icon for it well, anyway I'm gonna get out of it this time okay uh, I'm gonna stop this anyway uh, other than uh, well, it's a it's a pretty cool little program except for something's odd and uh, it's not uh, limited in functionality like most freeware is so I don't know anyway good and bad on this one okay I'm gonna stop Hey, Don here. We're going to test Cam Studio. Got it all set up with all the options I want. And I think maybe I figured out that I can minimize it because I can get back to it. It worked. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there it is. One. Yeah, I should be able to get back to it. Yeah. So that I can stop the recording. Um, maybe I overlooked that. I thought I had a lot of trouble. I, uh, couldn't get to stop and I'd hit uh, control alt delete kill it and then it wouldn't make the system go crazy and um, have to hard shut it down I added a little banner icon I use this one I've got some up on my system that I had made for my websites should show up right in there somewhere in that area that's the way I got it set anyway that's so all. That's just my directory where I was looking at, looking for icons over on the on the network on my machine. So when we get ready, to oh, and I also have. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. Control. No, let's don't try it this time. 
I uh, set the shortcut keys. You have to double click on that to make it open. It's not intuitive. I set the shortcut keys. Uh, we'll try them later, I guess. But I'm going to hit the regular stop button. Hey, Don here. Then that was Camp Studio. It goes down in here. Now I know that I can get back to it so that I can stop it. Um, when I minimize it, I may set it to, uh, I'll do that when I'm not recording, but I'm going to set it to automatically minimize from here on out, looks like. I, uh, figured out the volume levels on the microphone. I just, all I knew it, I just forgot. Well, recording devices. Now I can see my input signal. And click on the one you're using, hit properties. And it says where it's plugged in, that's right. Uh, listen, of course, I don't want it echoing and feeding back. On this machine, I ended up turning them both up, microphone and boost up all the way. On my laptop, I usually stay about right there, or maybe right there. Enhancements, I, know I was looking at that, and I, that was the default, so I left it. That I'm not quite sure what that is. It, it says, I forgot, I got it to come up before. I hate those things that won't come up when you click on them. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Now, I set up <coughs> keyboard shortcuts for uh, Cam Studio. I think I'll open it up. No, let's do it like this. Now, this is the way you'd really want it, you know, minimized and out of the way. So, um, control. Uh, Oh, the system. See, it's over a little bit too much for the system. I may have to make the video quality a little less and see if it's on 70%. That was the default. It makes the desktop go back to that ugly default whenever, automatically there whenever you over get, give the system too much to do. And this does do that, evidently. So, had to turn down the... Uh, oops, had to go to the mixer and turn down the uh, system sounds and Greenshot has its own volume knob. That's the screenshot utility. It uh, was way too loud. When I'd get, anytime I'd raise the volume on, you know, playing my video back, it'd make, blow me out of the, out of the house when I would, uh, whenever I would uh, click anything that made any system sound. Well, actually, I turned them off for making this video. I'll, pr I'll turn them back on when I'm done, I think. But, uh, anyway, I put the volume down because they don't need to be that loud in general. Okay, so, um, yep, see, it is working. Those are the temp, that's where my temp files go. And, uh, my banner didn't work. I should have changed that. I used this one. It didn't work. It didn't show up in the last video. It may not work with, uh, the GIF file wouldn't show up at all, but it may not work with BMPs, and may have to be a ping or a JPEG or something. It let me put it in there, but it didn't work. <coughs> so, don't worry about that right now. It's just an experiment. Um, it was supposed to be about right in here. But, uh, yeah, okay, the keyboard shortcuts. I was getting ready. Control uh, R is for record, Control S is for stop, and Control Quit is to just quit the program. Of course, that would ruin your video. That would it wouldn't get rendered. So, Control Stop. Now let's go see. I don't think you'll be seeing. Oh, it didn't stop it. Okay, so I saw a little warning, but it went by so fast. Evidently, my uh, keyboard shortcuts can't be set that way. Maybe they're defaulted. To, they're probably taken the ones I chose maybe taken by other programs so uh, the ones I had in there I guess I could go in there and show them um, this is the wrong place program options keyword shortcuts yeah control R it was like F8 um, that's a different thing number pad there it is, F8. And this one didn't have one. Oh, that one couldn't stop this stop key. 
it, you see it didn't take uh, that's what that message was about so control R for record is fine but control stop finish what would be real likely to my brain finish try finish control F not F1, you could do uh, that. I don't want anything that might have something to do with serious system stuff, so. Let's see. F, F, F. Where's it? Up? There it is. Okay. Oh, cancel the recording. I'm just going to leave that off. You really wouldn't want to do that with the shortcut key anyway. Oh, that was Q. Quit. Oh, why don't I use quit? Yeah. Finish. Quit. Yeah, quit makes more sense. Is there a way to say none? Yeah, right there. None. Control record. Control finish. Control stop. Control quit. Quit to me is like escape. Quit. Get out of the program. Finish. But will I ever remember finish? Probably not. Quit is kind of... That's usually used in games a lot. Which it may be why I can't use it, but it didn't. Okay, Control R for record, Control Q for stop recording. Let's try that. That would make sense to. Nope. Cancel recording has the king keystrokes. What is show hide? Oh, really? Which one? Show hide something. Hit that again. Cancel recording has the same keystrokes as show hide keyboard layout. Show hide layout key. Does it now? Oh, none. Well, how silly. So, what's wrong with none? Cancel recording. So, let's put that back to control Q. First, make this control finish. Just have to try to remember F for finish. Q. I'm hitting the keyboard as well. If, but if you're moving, oh, I'm hitting the S. If you're moving the mouse at the same time, that doesn't work. Okay, now R. Control R for record. Control F for finish, and Q for quit. Well, that took it. Okay, now Control. Fin Oops, hit the wrong keys. Try that one more time. Have my mouse not on the program. Well, I could set. No, I don't do anything else right now. It'll crash the other while ago when I was trying to do a bunch of stuff. Hey, you down here? Well, I changed a couple of settings on my uh, uh, Cam Studio recorder. I set it to time critical. Uh, on the recording thread options to see if it would. Uh, it starts to get behind, the audio starts to get behind the video pretty quickly there. And uh, maybe going down in the quality overall will help. Yeah, performance is slow, so that didn't probably made it worse on the, being able to keep up with the theme and everything. So all I think I'm going to be able to do is, uh, in order to not lose my theme, um, keep the color scheme just so I don't have to go back and change it back again when you go back and get, I've been using landscape when you click on it it turns the sounds back on so I had to turn them off again I thought turning the sounds off would help but it didn't so I'm just gonna stop this one and change the quality hey you down here <coughs> okay we will uh, try to do another uh, desktop recording and I've changed my settings on uh, Cam Studio so that it is a next to the highest priority. On it says priority for the thread priority in there. Okay, I don't want to open it up because it's, sometimes it crashes it when you get into the hit settings while you're recording. But. <coughs> I want to be able, if I can, I want to be able to keep my theme. It keeps having to go back to the default theme, which is ugly. And, uh, but I also need my my vo voice and my movements on the screen 
Like when I select different things to be right on target. So, yeah. so those are the temp files that it makes while it's recording. Nope, can't handle it. I have been able to say keep the color scheme and it still work, but it probably causes more trouble with the uh, audio and video getting out of sync. <coughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this one and see hey. what happens down here. We're going to try to get this darn cam studio recorder working a bit right. Um, tried using well let's see I'm going to go into all that I'm going to look at the uh, temp files they're not writing right now doesn't look like it was working fine before now it seems that nothing's happening because you can watch them grow I think I hadn't paid much attention, I've just been looking at the... I'm going to go ahead and stop and see... Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Couldn't handle the... Uh, the uh, it can't handle anything extra in the... Uh, for some reason, just can't handle that. So let's see... The uh, fancy, better looking desktop background. So we'll stop it. Shows to be working though. Okay. Camp Studio Recorder is what I'm using, and but it's heavy on the resources, so uh, it keeps knocking here. I guess these themes use a lot of resources or something. I don't know why. That's the thing that Windows always wants to turn it back to the stand, the basic, in order for it to be able to keep up. Uh, but if it's doing that, then I imagine my voice is getting behind the video. So let's stop this one and find out.